Hi, I'm Sarah from KnittingHand.com and today I'm going to show you how to make a simple pillowcase. This style of pillowcase is a pocket in the end to stop your pillow from coming out. You can also decorate this pillowcase in any way you like. I've put a little racing car applique on this one. Your finished pillowcase will measure 28.5 by 18.5 inches or 72.5 by 47 centimetres. To make the pillowcase you're going to need a piece of fabric 64.5 inches by 18 inches or 164 by 49 centimetres. I'm going to make a PDF file for you to download with the measurements in and I'll link to that in the video notes. For my fabric I'm using a lightweight cotton drill but any light to medium weight fabric that can be washed easily will work. Uh, make sure to wash your fabric before you cut it as well. You're also going to need the basics of sewing, scissors, thread, a ruler or tape measure and a sewing machine. You can sew this by hand but it's a quick machine. To start with you'll need to neaten the raw edges of your fabric by zigzagging around. I'm just going to do that on my machine now. I've set my machine to quite a wide stitch, almost as wide as it will go, with quite a long length as well, distance between the stitches. The next step in making your pillowcase is to fold a double hem on the short ends. With the wrong side of the fabric facing you, turn over half an inch or 12 millimetres and pin it. Then to complete the hem, fold it again. You probably won't need to measure it this time. And here you can see the hem folded over double and all ready to sew. You want to sew as close to the edge of the hem as you can, but even if you sew up the middle, that's still going to be fine. Do that on both of the short ends, and then believe it or not, you're almost finished. Always remember to take out the pins as you sew because if you hit one, not only can you break your needle and cause an accident if it comes up into your face, but you can also damage the timing of your machine. So if you like your sewing machine, never sew over the pin. I'm just going to do the same on the other end and then I'll show you the final step. Please excuse the handheld shot here, but my tripod's not tall enough. The next step is to fold up your pillowcase into its final shape. You need to fold over from the right hand side 28 and a half inches. So this edge is 28 and a half inches up to here. And then fold over this piece at the end to form the little pocket that your pillow will go into that will stop it from coming out of your pillowcase while you're asleep. You need to fold it right up against the hem here. I'm going to do that and put my camera back on the tripod and then show you. As you can see, I've pinned my pillowcase all the way along the top. And I've also done it all the way along the bottom as well. And now I'm going to sew half an inch or 12 millimetres roughly from the edge. And that will complete the pillowcase. So I'm going to do that and then I'll show you what it looks like finished. If you want to decorate the front of your pillowcase with applique or embroidery, you'll want to do that before you fold it up. I'll put a link to a PDF file in the notes on the video that will show you the measurements of where you should put 
your decoration for the front of your pillowcase and which bits you should avoid because they won't be shown. So there's my seam stitch, 12 millimetres or half an inch from the edge and I'm done. I'm just going to turn it in the right way and give you a look at the finished pe uh, pillowcase. And here is my finished pillowcase. I'm just going to show you the end again. With the pocket to put the pillow in to stop it falling out while you're asleep. And that's how you make them. You can also make these pillowcases from scrap fabrics and in the PDF that I'm going to link to this video in the notes on YouTube, I'm going to give you the measurements for each piece, the front, the back, and the pocket that goes inside so that if you want to you can piece it together from different fabrics, patchwork, anything you like. If your pattern goes across that way on your fabric as well you'll probably need to piece it together to get the length of the piece of fabric you need so I'm going to give you those measurements in the PDF file. So if you use this pattern send me some photos You'll find a contact link in the banner on my channel page on YouTube. Just click that, ask me for my email address, and I'll send it to you and send me a picture. I hope you enjoyed this pattern. Next week I'm going to be teaching you how to sew buttons onto knitwear.